Okay, so here is how I do the anaphosphate test. I take the, the reagent here. I kind of go like this just to make sure that the powder is not in any of the corners. And I try to kind of just tap it and get it all down here into this bottom corner. So the part where I cut is down here. And then I'm gonna fold it into a triangle. Try to make that even. I'm gonna cut it right along the edge, right on the line. And then I'm going to open up the pouch and then just kind of get a good visual of my powder in there. And it pretty much, it's kind of hard to see it, but yeah, I don't know how to make you see it, but it's, it's down there in the corner where it's supposed to be. So it's going to be easy to serve just falling out that little lip just like that into the vial in just a second. The little vial, I make sure that I get it nice and clean on my shirt so there's no fingerprints or smudges. I have a 10 milliliter syringe that I use to get uh, tank water with for the test. So, oh, okay. so if I go to the tank and draw some water, usually knock the air bubble back out. So I've got a 10 milliliter syringe of tank water. I'm gonna go into the tube, make sure I don't get it on the outside to smear it because that salt water will mess up the reading. I then cap it. I'm gonna remove the smudges off my fingers one more time. Take this guy and turn it on. And then I will go ahead and do part one. So hit the button. Get to the dashes. Now it says add C2. So it just took a laser reading uh, through that water. I'm gonna take my pouch that I've already prepared. I'm going to tap it really gently and get the powder to kind of fall down the lip. I'm sorry that I don't have this on camera, I meant to. But I just kind of, just kind of tap it just like this. And then it all gets in there. And then you remember, you only have a couple minutes before that uh, timer stops um, right here. So then once I have it in here, I give it some good shakes. I kind of twirl it like this because I don't like it to go, if I go like this, it seems like it gets on the outside a little bit. So I'll do this for a while. Um, usually I'm doing another test right now. And so I'll kind of like do my nitrate or something and just kind of watch the clock. Um, I don't know, we'll call it a minute or so of shaking. And then once I have it shaken up, I kind of will go up and down like this just to make sure that there's no um, air bubbles on the sides and just to make sure that the powder is mixed up pretty well. And it looks like it is. So then one more time, I'm just going to take the t-shirt and just do a nice little wipe down. I'm going to get this off. Go here. I'm going to hold this button until it does the countdown. There. So now you can see it counting down. It's going to count down from three. So that gives it enough time for the bubbles and whatnot in there to go ahead and settle or rise to the top or do whatever they do. So when it takes that reading uh, with the laser through the, the uh, sample, the reagent will bond with the phosphate, which will make it to uh, have the reading. So I just do that once. I don't do it again. Um, I, I try to just trust it just kind of as a trend. Like I just watch it um, from week to week. I don't really I don't really care if I were to test the same thing multiple times in a row, if it's off, like I'm shooting to have my tank uh, to have probably 0 0.10 right now. It's usually, this will probably be like point, I don't know. We'll see, maybe 0 0.11, 0 0.13, somewhere in there. Um, and I'm happy with that. So as long as it's above 3.03 .03 and below 0 0.20, I'm happy. So I'm gonna stop this and then I'll send you a picture in a little bit because I don't wanna wait for the other two minutes. Um, but I'll send you a picture of what it turns out to be. So cool, that's that.